Everybody, brothers and sisters, in the Lord Jesus Christ, believers, saved by grace through faith, by trusting and believing in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I just want to give you a short little message and say Jesus really is coming. He really loves you so much. Don't lose hope. That's what I felt in my spirit, and it was confirmed last night with a brother who really needed some prayer because he was feeling so hopeless. And he's a believer, for real. And I believe that's what the devil is targeting. He's trying to cause us to lose hope. Why? Because hope, our hope comes from the Lord. And our blessed hope is the Lord Jesus coming to meet us in the clouds in the air for the rapture. So the devil is targeting us from every which way he can to steal our joy and cause us to lose hope in our Lord and our Savior. Don't let the enemy win. The battle is not ours. The, the battle has already been won on the cross 2,000 years ago from Jesus by what he did for us. So the devil is a liar and the father of all lies, and we know that. He didn't. He, the devil doesn't want to take the defeat. He doesn't want to claim that he was defeated. He's a liar and he's going to continue lying to say that he's got you and, and you are a loser and you're, you're going to hell. You're not going to make the rap. He's going to lie, lie, and lie some more. He is the liar of all lies. He's the father of all lies. Please, just don't fall prey to the tactics of the devil. He is so on the loose. He is so ready to just kill still and to destroy you but you know don't let him don't let him do that to you okay jesus is coming and you know like a lot of us have seen in dreams or visions including myself we're gonna probably be raptured the moment the bombs come down or the you know the destruction begins through war or an attack of some sort i had um I did have a couple visions of that. Um, one of them included, a vision or dream, again, I don't remember, it was so long ago. One of them included me, um, hold on, let me, let me remember this, let me remember this. Um, seeing cities destroyed, a city in particular, I would see a city being missiles blow, uh, shooting at um, a major city in the distance. Um, couldn't identify exactly which city, but I'm near, not too far from Chicago. Um, the city was completely destroyed by the missiles. Uh, the buildings were knocked down. Well, just, just they fell from the from the attack. The United States of America is going to fall. We were a once great nation. We were not even in the Bible because we're so new. We're so young. Oh, what is that? I thought it was a hummingbird. It's only a moth. I thought that was a hummingbird, of course. It's a moth. Never mind. Excuse me. <laughs> um, so, it, but the, and then at the, after I saw the city's attack, I looked up to the sky and I saw that, like a circle just closing up, an opening to the sky, that was like spinning slowly and closing up, as if the rapture. I had a knowing in my spirit that the rapture had just occurred. So, um, and I have had, uh, I have had a dream years ago in knowing, um, where I was, that the rapture was coming or the rapture was, a was in, was beginning, but it was the rapture. It was, and I was in front of a window at this place and I knew that it was the time for me to go. And I was saying, I have to go. I have to go. It's, I'm looking up at the sky. And, and, and my, all right, I'll say, I babysit on Fridays. And my little grandson said, no, Grandma. And, and then the dream ended. So I knew the rapture was about to occur. And, and just, you know, that's only on Fridays that I, that I go there to, you know, to babysit that one. It was just that one grandson. And I do believe my grandsons are, are saved, my um, my grandchildren. I believe they all love Jesus. I, I pray, well, there's three. I'm not sure that they do, a um, little bit older, but I, I, I said what I could. I pray they are. They're teenagers. Um, and all we can do is pray and, and let the Lord take over from there, you know, because 
the, the fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much. So don't lose hope. The devil thinks there's no big deal to praying. He wants you to think, oh, a prayer here, a prayer there. No, prayers are taken very serious by our Father in heaven. When we pray, we pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, please help me. Father, with this, in the name of Jesus. And you believe in Jesus with all your heart. What you are saying and what you are believing to be true because of our mighty God who hears our prayers. And he, he, will not, he will not take your prayers lightly. Our prayers are powerful. And God wishes that none would perish, but that all would come to repentance and call upon his name to be saved, for the Lord to save us. The Lord is Jesus. So don't let the enemy steal your joy, because the joy of our the, the, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. And we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So don't let the devil take away your blessed hope. Titus 2, 13, looking for that glorious appearing of that great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is coming soon. He is coming very soon. We know it because we know what Jesus told us to watch for. We know we are truly chosen to be here in these last days for such a time as this to shout out and warn to others that the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is coming very soon to take his children home because we are not appointed to God's wrath. No, no, no. We are not as they are who are living in darkness. They are the earth dwellers, those who dwell upon the earth. Revelation chapter 3, verse 10 Jesus says, because you have kept, thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will keep thee from the hour of temptation that shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. We will no longer be upon this earth, grounded and rooted in the ways of the world. No, no, no. We are looking up for our blessed hope and the glorious appearing of that great God and Savior to come quickly, very soon any moment now. He could be here to snatch his children out of here just at the moment those bombs come down. That's what I truly believe. We're going to come so close because God is so merciful and long-suffering. Why would he leave an empty space of time when there could have been more souls brought into the kingdom of God not to be left behind just at the last second before the bombs come down? to destroy them and take their take their lives away. No, God is the, the Lord Jesus Christ. He, he is God. And he's the giver and taker of life. Bombs and wars, only if God allows it. But if there's more souls to be saved yet, mm -mm, God's going to make sure that before those bombs come down, he's going to take those souls up with him that just gave their hearts to Jesus moments before. So I, I believe he's going to work that close to the rapture that, so that none would perish that are willing to be saved before the bombs come down. Right at the last breath before they do. That's how merciful God is. He's so good. God is so good. You can trust him. Don't lose hope. Jesus is coming. God bless you all in Jesus' precious holy name. And remember, John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. It's only through Jesus we can be saved. So whosoever shall call upon his name shall be saved. God bless you all. In Jesus' name.